Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius February 7, 2023. The moon's move into your privacy sector today signals the need for extra rest or a break from the action. However, differences are in the spotlight in your relationships, temporarily making it difficult to see eye to eye with people close to you. Conflict with someone in authority is possible, or you might feel uncomfortable with a person who is coming on too strong. With Venus square Mars, people seem competitive rather than cooperative, and disconnects are likely about values, goals, or ambitions. Consider that people may not entirely know what they want and can pursue something they don't have that they think is the answer to their restlessness. Today will be a day you love or despise. There will be no middle ground. As sweet Venus, our goddess planet of romance, spins across the sky from you in your solar seventh house of relationships, she will cross swords with mighty Mars, the god planet of sex and passion. Whenever our cosmic lovers meet, we feel their energy intensely. If you're on steady ground with your one and only, you'll be lured into a passionate dance where you both feel explosive ecstasy. However, if you're not on the same page, you'll both sense hostility and try to rock the boat. What do you want to stand by in your career path? Your professional commitments will play a part in your career path and reputation when Venus in Pisces squares Mars in Gemini. Lucky for you, Venus will help you feel comfortable with continuing your current professional partnerships, obligations, and contracts. However, Mars is ready to diversify your career, so the square could pull you into more than a few directions. Think about what commitments you want to be known for or associated with to alleviate the square's people-pleasing pressure. While there is still some tension between the dwarf planet series in your income sector and Jupiter in your financial sector, rather than compete they can now take a divide and conquer approach. Series retrograde turn yesterday means income matters are no longer competing in the forward-looking stakes and instead, understanding your income needs and priorities is something best gauged by looking back. You may or may not be pleased while the planetary alignment lasts, as this aspect signals radical change. You may be ready for change, in which case you'll welcome this particular energy, or you may be nervous at the thought of change and get a bit uptight. Either way, you need to slow down the pace and get into a routine of deep breathing so that you can move through the next few days with calm intention. Yoga calms your nerves through breath, so why not try it? Today, work comes first. The most pressing issues are in the workplace on this day, and your calming effect is exactly what is needed to put things right once again. After you are done taking care of the problems at work, 6, you will then be able to retreat to the security of your home. Utilize the commute time as a transition period. This way you can gain the mindset to interact positively with family members. If you are going to have a full moon in a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart then the weekend is going to be the ideal time. While with the moon here for the next two days this will spill into the early part of the new working week, starting over the weekend means that the sun and moon, as they clash are on a level playing field. This is a full moon that at some point during the sun's month-long visit to your work sector will put how well you know when to keep your work hat on and when to take it off to the test. With some busy times ahead, this couldn't be more important. At the same time that Venus, the planet of love moves into her final two weeks in your relationship sector Mercury, the planet of communication has reached his last weekend in your romantic sector. While on both fronts other planets are staying on to keep the momentum going, it is all about working with Venus to understand what you want from your relationships and with Mercury to give your heart a voice and to put heart and mind on the same page. Our eyes in the sky. The full moon in Leo occurs today. This lunar event can be extremely dramatic and explosive, all the more reason to hide under the covers. People want to pop off and let their feelings be known, all the good, bad, and ugly sentiments they've been harboring. Choose to release your energy in productive ways to make sure no one's feelings get hurt. An opportunity exists to make new friends or strengthen existing relationships, your good mood helps create a pleasant, 
memorable experience for everyone you encounter. You get on wonderfully well with your partner, your happiness and understanding leads you to appreciate each other even more, opening possibilities that deepen the love between you. Now is the best time to go out and spend. Buy yourself something nice, but don't splash out on just one item. Instead, invest your money the smart way. Other people are being honest with you, so don't hesitate to take their advice. Whether you intend to buy something small or are investing in a big way, you can't lose, even if you spend more than usual. Don't let time pass without the athletic ability you know you possess being fully utilized. What you learn to appreciate most is that exercise doesn't need any great effort on your part, it's your all-round well-being that increases your fitness. Include a wellness day in your weekly routine, take care for your body. In the morning, Jupiter opposes Ceres, the asteroid of nurturance, currently retrograde in Libra. Today, we're pulled in two different directions. Jupiter in Aries inspires us to be bold and courageous, to court good fortune through self-advocacy. Ceres, on the other hand, encourages us to give back by harmonizing with others' initiatives. In this paradigm, we are not taking the lead, but compromising. This puts us in a tight spot. We know instinctively that the best way to ensure success will be to make independent moves. That way, when we achieve victory, we can share the abundance gained. However, it seems counterintuitive to downplay the very qualities we know will allow us to help others the most. Currently, the best thing to do is to establish some boundaries and make it clear what kind of support you are not only capable of offering, but willing to offer. That way, no one will be confused by your actions. Later on, the Leo full moon reminds us to stay heart-centered. Look back over the events of the past two weeks. The January 21st Aquarius new moon found us seeking to advance a vision by embracing our uniqueness. Novel contributions we wish to make to our communities have been incubating in our mind's eyes. Today, our intentions are brought to fruition by adding the final ingredient to our recipe, passion. You might have the most innovative, creative idea in the world. But where are you in the equation? Your voice, your unique spin, and most importantly, your heart, must come center stage now. You need to center yourself in the narrative, to become the face of this project. Without you, there is nothing for your audience to connect to. So take pride in your identity and your purpose. The moon squares Uranus in Taurus, a reminder that success is not a straightforward path. You might have to navigate surprise upsets, or even haters who are shocked that you have the audacity to take up space. Disruptive attacks on your character say more about them than you. Fortunately, the moon also trines Chiron in Aries, intimating that this lunation presents an opportunity to drop old self-defeating narratives and adopt more empowered ones.